is Kylie Jenner caught in a love triangle. One Direction reacts to Harry's solo single. And Camila sings some super provocative lyrics. All that and more on today's Rundown. This episode of DHR is brought to you by NHTSA, reminding us that if you're texting, you're not driving. What is up, guys? Welcome back to DHR. Can you tell I'm so excited it's Friday, you guys? Are you also excited because Nicki Minaj's No Frauds music video is coming out? You know I am, but I'm also super excited because the new English version of Camila Cabello's song for the Fast and Furious movie is out, and it's everything. We've got another new Camila Cabello track on our hands, people. So we already knew that Camila had teamed up with J Balvin and Pitbull for Hey Ma on the Fate of the Furious soundtrack. Now the English version of this song has dropped and with it came another music video. And the video is really similar to the first one. It was shot on the streets of Miami, inspired by the Cuban scenes from the movie. The video also sees clips from the movie as well. But even better, Camila is singing some pretty provocative lyrics. If you touch me right, if you touch me right, I must stay the night. I must stay the night. Oh, we can take our time. We can take our I know time. we gotta say goodbye. No, no. I know we gotta say goodbye. No. Okay, I love this music video. It was awesome. It was colorful. It was fun. But even more than that, I love it because all the outfits. We're Coachella inspired in my opinion. <laughs> I'm going to Coachella in a couple of weeks. I'm like, I want Camila's outfit. Yeah. I want the backup dancers outfits. Everyone looks so good, so fashionable. Like, I, it makes me want to move to Miami. Actually, Miami is one of my favorite places. Miami's by the way. amazing. Ooh, I love well, it. You just went there recently with the girls, right? I did. Um, I love this video. I will say though, for the actual song, I love the song, but I kind of like the Spanish version better. Is yeah. that weird? It just feels like it was more. I don't know. It had more like flair yeah. and like sex appeal. There's something about Espanol that just gets you all hot. I get hot. that they had to do the English version with the Spanish version. And I think if they would have released the English version first, then maybe it would have been different. But since I already got a taste of that and then we got this, this kind of feels like a letdown. But I'm still happy yeah, with it. Totally. But. I think in Spanish, you don't really know what the words are. Yeah, so you just you like kind of make up in your head how sexy, like in your imagination, you can go as far as you want, mm -hmm. sexy wise, because mm -hmm. you don't know what they're saying. Yeah. Oh my freaking gosh. I saw your tweet today about this, by the way. Harry Styles dropped Sign of the Times, and the world is freaking out, including me. Do you know you tweeted at like 7 30 in the morning? It's so First good. thing I do when I wake up in the morning is kind of scroll through Twitter. I see Emil freaking out at <laughs> 7.30 a.m. over this song. It's so good. So the song starts quiet as a piano ballad with the rock beat dropping a minute and a half into the song, and by the end, it swelled into an earth-shattering anthem complete with a backup choir. Stop you crying, baby, it's a sign of the times. We gotta get away. We gotta get away. Powerful yet somber lyrics in the emotionally charged song hit at a political statement saying, if we never learn we've been here before, why are we always stuck running from the bullets? And in the chorus, Harry chants, it's a sign of the times, we gotta get away from here. Harry insinuates that we haven't learned from our history and our inability to communicate has contributed to the state of the world today. And many are comparing it to uh, timeless David Bowie or John Lennon. And it sounds very little like a One Direction song. Uh, Niall tweeted, love it H. Liam tweeted, proud of you H, glad you're getting to do your own thing. And Sean Mendes tweeted, Harry sounds incredible in this song. I love that Harry has gone in this direction because right now in music, there aren't really any new, young, up and coming rock stars. Everyone's kind of like a pop star mm -hmm. or a hip hop star. Um, and I think that Zayn is really Harry's biggest competition in this whole music thing. Um, I think Zayn is doing something really different. Harry had to come out with something very different. And this is very different than what I thought he would do. To me, it is kind of a throwback sound, but yeah. it kind of sounds like a U2 song or like a Coldplay. I think Harry Styles could be the new Steven Tyler or the new Coldplay agree. of our generation. Um, I thought it sounded cool. I didn't love the song. I thought the song was cool. Do you think it will grow on you though? I don't know, it's kind of a, it makes me feel kind of sad. Yeah, and that's the thing. It's, it's one of those things where it definitely is an emotional song. Right. And it's one of, I feel like the more you listen to it, the more you'll kind of feel that spirit of the song. No, but, but I don't like being 
sad. Yeah. You know, there are certain moods that I would listen to this song in, but I feel like on the reg, I'd rather something a little bit more upbeat. Not poppy, just something a little bit more upbeat. But all that to say, I think he's on the right track. The sound is great. He sounded great. And he's going to be a rock star, you guys. For sure. Okay, guys, look out the new video for No Frauds, which was the Remy Ma diss track that Nicki Minaj put out. The video's coming very soon. Nicki Minaj took to Instagram to not only kill some acapella lyrics, but teased her upcoming No Frauds video at the same time. I took my prize. <laughs> and don't worry, there is more where that came from. She also posted an actual teaser of the video set on the streets of London. I guess you needed the pack. captioned it, who's ready for the No Frauds video? I could probably answer that by saying I can tell you who's not ready for it, and that's probably Remy Ma. Actually, I take that back. Remy Ma's probably ready for it. Yeah. It's gonna boost her appeal on the internet when it happens, but I'm so excited for this. And we saw a couple of clips from it, like some behind the scenes shots a couple of weeks ago when yeah. she was in London doing this, but to actually see some clips from the video, I just, I can't wait. I love Nicki Minaj's videos so much. All right guys, more Kylie Jenner news for you. She is caught in the middle of a rap beef triangle. It's a love triangle, but it's not with Tyga. So two rappers are vying for Kylie's attention. Kylie's surprised in the battle between rapper 21 Savage and his rival 22 Savage, who just recorded a love song of sorts to woo her. TMZ got a hold of the track Kylie's Daddy, which features 22 Savage, as well as teen sisters Ileana Eve and DJ Hannah Bella and singer Ziggy. The track will be part of the sister's debut album, Daddy Issues, but the real issue here is 22 Savage making such a public play for Kylie after 21 Savage made it clear he wants to do the nasty with her. 21's already got beef with 22 over the whole name thing, and this song won't help. It has 22 and Ileana dropping pickup lines on Kylie, and we're told it will be on iTunes and Spotify in the next week or so. Okay, I'm sorry. I have to tell you guys something. I have to be really honest yes. right now. Um, sometimes I don't read the whole story mm -hmm. become, before we come into DHR. And today, this Kylie story I did not read ahead of time. What is this story? I'm sorry, he calls the song Kylie's Daddy? <sighs> and he wants to do the nasty? What? Well, let's just talk about the fact, like, this beef that they have. I don't even, not take Kylie out of it, the fact that you had another artist, like, Hey, I'm 21 Savage. I'm gonna be 23 Savage. Oh, I'm gonna be 24 Savage. <laughs> like, what is this? This is so, the thirst is so oh. real, you guys. I don't, this is like so extra. I cannot even on a Friday. All right, it was a music Friday, you guys. We covered a lot of um, weird things today mm -hmm, on mm -hmm. the show. But let us know in the comment section what you think of Harry Styles' new song. And it was kind of like, it wasn't a music video, but it was like an imagery yeah. on the screen, which I thought was really neat. Yeah. Let us know if you liked it, if you liked the style. And also, we want to know what you're doing this weekend. Let yeah. us know. Are you going to the movies, hanging out with friends? Are you watching Clever all weekend? Oh, and tag us on Instagram if you upload any photos this week this weekend, because I want to see what you guys are up to. I want to I stalk you, basically. <laughs> <laughs> That was just like a really kind of polished way to say, please let me stalk let you. Let me stalk you. All right, guys, we love you, and we'll be back next week, same time, same place. Have a good weekend. Well, it may not be the same time, but. <laughs> For more, click left to see Kendall Jenner devastated by her Pepsi ad backlash. Or click right to find out where the heck Taylor Swift has been. And thanks again to Nitza for reminding us that if you're texting, you're not driving, and for sponsoring today's episode.